What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you're having a good week. Today I'm going to be continuing my series on Bible teachers I'd recommend. So let's delve in. Hello everyone. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Alan. Doug Wilson is one of the leaders at Christ Church in Moscow, Idaho. Pastor Wilson is a Presbyterian minister who has been preaching and teaching for many years now. The title of his likable blog and may blog is taken from the prophet Ezekiel, who as Pastor Doug puts it, was referring to a bad dude named Gog from Magog. And if you make a little pun, you have a cultural and theological blog that sweeps down from the north out of Russia. Pastor Wilson adds that the point of this blog is pretty broad. All of Christ for all of life. He says that in order to make that happen, we need a theology that bites back. And he wants to advance a Calvinism that brings that attitude to bear on education, culture, theology, postmodernism, and many other areas. Doug Wilson is also an experienced Christian apologist who is presuppositional in his apologetical methodology. He has engaged in some debates over the years, with perhaps his most well-known set being those against popular anti-theist defender, the late Christopher Hitchens. The documentary Collision pits Wilson against Hitchens on a debate tour, with the two men wittily and passionately defending their positions. Pastor Doug did an outstanding job in these exchanges by powerfully refuting Hitchens' fallacious arguments. One, one of Christianity's specifically horrible contributions to human mythology and delusion is the idea, the terrifying idea, that you could be tortured forever. Horrible by what standard? Um, horrible by, well, good question. There's, an, uh, there's a difference between an emotional reaction, which all of us have, everybody with natural affection, thinks it's a terrible idea to think of people perishing eternally. That's not the issue. The issue is how do you give an accounting of what is good and what is bad? When you, when you say, if, if the universe is, on your accounting, time and chance acting on matter, if all the universe is, is matter in motion, what do you mean, horrible? What do you mean by horrible idea? Who cares? Excellent questions, Pastor Wilson. Of course, those of you familiar with Doug Wilson are probably aware that he has also been in the midst of a few controversies over the years. One of Pastor Doug's sharpest critics is Dr. R. Scott Clark, a church history professor at Westminster Theological Seminary in California. Clark's criticism has primarily focused on Wilson's federal vision views. To see Pastor Doug's response to some of these criticisms, check out the sweater vest dialogue between Dr. James White and Doug Wilson on the FV. I've posted a link below. In summation, Doug Wilson is an excellent Bible teacher whose content all solid Bible-believing Christians could benefit greatly from. His group's publishing house, Canon Press, has a channel which is available on YouTube. You can find lots of helpful material there. Just remember that any time I recommend a teacher on this channel, it does not automatically mean that I agree with everything they say. While I would strongly agree with Pastor Doug Wilson in the areas of, say, eschatology and theonomy, I would likewise disagree with him in other areas such as baptism and covenant theology. We can learn a great deal from people who we don't agree with everything on. And hopefully you guys will benefit as much from Pastor Doug as I have. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Ladies and gents, if you want to share your own thoughts, be sure to do so in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. You can also follow me on Instagram. I posted a link below. Have an awesome rest of your week. And for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.